Red Shoes Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very cute girl named Karen. She lived in a tiny house with her mother and was a very happy girl. She would ask her mother about everything she was curious about. Mom, what are these tiny lights in the sky? They are stars, Karen. Everyone who lives on Earth eventually turns into a star and shines in the sky forever. Karen only had one toy, one dress, and a pair of wooden slippers she wore on the street. The wooden slippers her mother made for her were not very comfortable, but they were the only ones she had. One day, Karen's mother got very sick. So Karen went to town to buy medicine for her mother, and along the way, she found a pair of red shoes in a box on the roadside. The shoes shone so beautifully that Karen couldn't help but bring them home with her. Look, Mommy, I found these by the roadside. Aren't they beautiful? Just right for me. These may belong to someone else, Karen. You should immediately take them back. But if they had an owner, she wouldn't have left them there with the box. Maybe the owner dropped it accidentally. Then they shouldn't have dropped it. I found them. They belong to me now. They're mine. Baby, listen to me carefully. I may not be able to buy you new shoes right now, but I don't want you to wear someone else's shoes just because of that. Please, don't be stubborn. Promise you won't wear these red shoes. Karen sadly promised her mother not to wear red shoes and hid them under her bed. Months passed by until one day Karen came home and couldn't find her mother in the house. She looked all over until she realized that her mother had become a bright star. The next day, on her way to her mother's funeral, Karen put on those red shoes. Those who came to the funeral couldn't take their eyes off Karen's shoes. No, How no, dare no. she wear red shoes so disrespectful. But Karen did not care because she loved her shoes. A good-hearted old woman passed by the cemetery. This old woman learned that this little girl was now an orphan and wanted to adopt her. Come with me, pretty girl. I will do my best to make you successful and beautiful when you grow up. So Karen went to live with the old woman for many years. Karen, you've been wearing these shoes since your mother's funeral. You need to take them off now. They're so dirty. No! I love my red shoes. Oh, Karen, don't be so stubborn. Come on, change your shoes. I'll buy better shoes, I promise. Karen did not want to offend the old woman, who had been so kind to adopt her. So she finally took off her red shoes and threw them away. Days passed, until one day, Karen was playing in her new room with her new clothes and toys, and the old woman brought her a new pair of shoes. But Karen didn't like these shoes at all. But these are blue! Very ugly! I don't like them at all! So for years to come, Karen missed her red shoes a lot. She grew into a beautiful young lady. But her stubborn attitude never changed. Even when the old lady brought her gifts. I don't want to wear this thing. But I knit this for you. I'll never eat this food. Make me french fries. At least take a little bite, darling. The old woman was very upset. When Karen got up from the table without having a meal, she made french fries for her and took them to her room. At that time, Karen was taking off her blue shoes. Look! See? 
All my things are so small now. I've grown up. Well, come on then. Let's buy you new clothes and shoes. Then the old woman and Karen went to the store. Oh, look! Just like my favorite red shoes. I must have them. Let's get these. Karen, you don't need fancy red shoes. You need shoes that you can wear respectfully. Like if we need to go to a funeral. I can only buy you one pair of shoes. Let's buy those black ones and go home. I am very tired. I don't care. If you don't buy both shoes, I'll walk barefoot everywhere from now on. <sighs> Little girl, I wish you weren't so stubborn. The old woman bought the black shoes for Karen and spent the last of her money to appease her with the red sparkly shoes too. They had to walk home on foot. The old woman's feet hurt a lot along the way, and she could not keep up with the spoiled Karen. And Karen didn't care. She walked on home with her new red shoes. One day, the old woman told Karen that they needed to attend a funeral in town. Karen. Be sure to put on your black shoes, otherwise it will be disrespectful at the funeral. Karen looked at the black shoes in her room, and then at the bright red ones. She chose to put on the red shoes. When they left the house, she covered them up with her skirt, so the old woman would not see the shoes. However, at the funeral. Everyone saw Karen's shoes shining brightly under her skirt. They spoke amongst themselves about Karen's red shoes at the funeral and about how disrespectful the shoes were. When what was said came to the old woman's ear, she got very angry. You didn't listen to what I told you, and you put on the red shoes again. You're so stubborn, Karen. Show some respect. A handsome young lord, passing by at that time, was struck by Karen's beauty. He came to her, and went down on his knees and gave her compliments. How beautiful you are, and so delicate in these beautiful shoes. Ah,、uh, my lord, you make me blush. You must be a very good dancer. I invite you to the dance night in the palace tonight. Please come. With the happiness of the Lord's offer, Karen started dancing with joy. But after a while, Karen couldn't stop dancing. Uh, uh, why can't I stop my feet? What is happening? Oh, oh! Karen started walking away from the old lady and the Lord. While she was dancing, Karen, come back! Even though the Lord chased Karen for a while, he lost her. Karen's red shoes turned out to be more stubborn than Karen. They took her until top of the mountain and made her dance day and night for three days. Karen's feet hurt so much that she screamed at every step. Ah! Ah! Oh! Even though they got into the mud and prickly needles stuck, the shoes kept dancing. Enough! I'm very tired. I won't be so stubborn from now on. I promise. Please stop. Shoes, please stop. Stop. And when Karen said she'd give up all her stubbornness, the red shoes. Jumped off her feet, and Karen too fell to the ground, and the red shoes kept on dancing without her. Karen found a stick and managed to limp home in pain. Her legs hurt a lot. She started to cry with happiness when she saw her house. The old woman greeted her at the door. They hugged each other. I know I was very stubborn, girl, but I promise I won't be like that anymore. 
after Karen gave up her stubbornness, things started to get better. One day, someone knocked on the door. It was the young and handsome Lord. Well, there you are, Karen. I tried to keep up, but you danced so fast. How did you do that? <laughs> Karen was glad to see the handsome and young Lord. That was the day the Lord and Karen's love began, leaving stubbornness behind. Karen lived a happy and peaceful life. <laughs>